for the big launch. <laughs> These are the voyages of the Starship Enterprise. Its mission to seek out strange new softies and menace them to boldly go where no mutt has gone before. There's only enough power in the elastic to send one small Abyssinian tripound into orbit. <laughs> Good luck, Nasher old chum. Happy landings! <laughs> awesome! So every one of us must pull together in an effort to recycle and find new ways to create alternative sources of energy. Let us make Beano Town Greeno Town! The Mayor is absolutely right. Yes, we all need to do our bit to save the planet. I shall be moving amongst you, looking for the most eco friendly, energy saving citizen in Beano Town! Uh oh! What's happened to the TV? It's simply super, Walter. Entertaining and energy efficient. This will make everybody sit up and take notice. <laughs> you maniac! Look what you've done! Keep your hair on, Walter. I was just testing out my new rocket. That's not a rocket. It's a... a, a rotten refuse receptacle. You've completely wrecked my beautiful wind-powered water feature. Wind-powered, did you say? Hmm. Wind power could be the very thing I need to launch my Denterprise Mark II. Well, if you're sure you want to give Bee her lunch, that's very helpful of you, Dennis. Forget Mum's homemade parsnip puree. What you need, Bee, is big beans! <laughs> beans, beans are good for the heart. And they help to make me rocket start. Eat up, Bee! I don't get it, Jen. What's the plan? It's very simple, Curly. I'm experimenting with new sources of energy. Have you never heard of wind power? Fascinating. I shall have to keep an eye on this young man. OK. Let's get this rocket off the ground. Was that the mayor I just saw? I'm very keen to show him my wind-powered water feature. I had to rebuild it, all thanks to you, Dennis. Walter, look! Your foot! Aha! Uh -huh. You noticed my new homemade eco-trainers. <laughs> That's blown, that idea. Where am I going to find another new source of energy for my rocket? <sighs> Ah, yes. Oh, not only am I getting fit, I'm, I'm, I'm providing all the energy for every electrical device in the house. Oh. Pedal power. Nice one, Dad. <sighs> oh. Cheer up, Nasha. After I launch Enterprise 2, you'll be heading for the stars. Huh? This is the way forward, Nasha. Pedal power! Pedal power? This boy is a shining beacon of energy-efficient excellence. I spoke too soon. Well, Nasha, looks like we'll have to put your first space flight on the back burner. <sighs> Wait till the mayor sees this lot. He'll be over the moon. Unlike you, Nasha. <laughs> oh, yes. This compost is going to make me a household name. <laughs> what a whiff. Remove your nose immediately, Dennis.
Alice. I do not wish to contaminate my precious cargo. A barrel load of mouldy cabbage leaves and rotting apple cores? Not for very much longer. All this biodegradable material is soon to be fermented and recycled into biofuel to power my new eco-friendly combined cuckoo clock and cocoa maker. Biofuel what? You mean you can make fuel from stinky old fruit and veg? Indubitably. Any fuel knows that. <laughs> Excellent. Just what I need for the next phase of my menacing mission to Mars. Thank you. I'll take that. Thanks. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> nice one. What the...? <laughs> it's that boy again. Incredible. He never stops. Now, what's that nitwit up to? OK, Nasha. Time to turn bruised beetroot and battered broccoli into biofuel. <laughs> With all this power, we'll be able to launch the whole shed into space. <laughs> Keep shoveling, Nasha. We need more energy. <laughs> Dennis, are you sure? Absolutely positive. I've been following his activities very closely. What a splendid eco-friendly example to all the young folk of Beano Town. It's not possible, is it? I have decided to award your son the town's highest honour, the Legion de Compost, for all his services to recycling and energy conservation. Dennis, the metal... I must be dreaming! So, where is uh, the hero of the hour? Well, I, I, I think he's out the back, in the shed. OK, helmets on! <laughs> this is going to be awesome! Prepare for ignition and blast off! Oh, what? Who's that? Congratulations, young man! Uh, what? As Mayor of Beano Town, I would like to thank you for all your hard work and devotion to the cause of recycling and energy conservation. Oh, hooray! But, but, Mr Mayor, I protest. What about my wind-powered water feature? And my... Shh! Shush, Walter. Uh, great. Thanks. Gotta go! <laughs> Anxious to get back to your work, eh? But first, the presentation. No, but I need to... Oh! <laughs> and so, it gives me great pleasure to award you, Dennis, this special medal, which, naturally, has been recycled from old milk bottle tops and tinfoil toffee wrappers. Well done, Go Dennis. On, son. Good lad. Uh, thanks. Great. Goodbye. <laughs> He's so modest, isn't he? We must have a photograph now. And you're not to stop working until you've cleaned up every inch of the town. Great. Instead of sweeping across the universe, I'm stuck here sweeping up the street. Ah, Dennis, since you're so fond of recycling, you'll be glad to hear that I'm recycling your pocket money for the next five years to pay for all the damage you've caused. Oh! Well, at least it can't get any worse. Oh, dear, Dennis. Talk about coming down to earth with a bump! <laughs> no, Walter. That's what I call coming down to earth with a bump. Welcome home, boy! You're the world's first astronaut. <laughs> <laughs> And never forget, in the wrong hands, there is nothing more dangerous than a canoe. 
except perhaps a brain-eating squid. <laughs> I'll now show you how to make a canoe motor out of a pelican. Mm. This is boring. Yeah, I've had enough lectures. Time to liven things up. <laughs> <laughs> You guys coming? Oh, taking the canoe without asking. Fine. Spend the rest of the day listening to the Colonel. Stop! You are not authorised to pilot that vessel. Yes, you heard how dangerous canoes are. Not to mention brain-eating squids. I reckon one of them got your brain, Walter. See ya. Uh, Mrs Creature! Colonel! Yes. Many a man has been led astray. They're too far away. They can't hear us. Dennis isn't getting away with this. Follow me. Life on the rolling waves. Nothing like it. <laughs> what is it, Nasha? <gasps> I don't believe it. <laughs> Looks like they want to race. <laughs> Walter, what's up? Pull that canoe over. I'm making a neighbourhood watch arrest. The neighbourhood's back on land, twit face. Oh, uh, we may have a problem here. Go back! <laughs> so stupid! I don't think it's been old town. Dennis! Dennis! <gasps> Curly! Oh no, mate! You've been cut in half! No! I'm under here! Pull me out! <laughs> <laughs> to go with a deserted island. Cool. Uh, it's not totally deserted. Quiet! Follow me! Get us down from here! Wow! We heard something, probably you lot, and decided to hide. Sure thing, Walter. Go on, boy. You know what to do. <laughs> I hope you're happy. We're marooned, and it's your fault. You should be thanking me. Thanking you? Dennis Land is the best thing that ever happened to us. What's Dennis Land? The name I just gave me island. Think, no parents, no school, no homework. This is Dennis Land. So whatever I say is law, and whatever you say must be ignored. Huh. We'll see about that. Bertie, Dudley, how would you like to be part of my new island named Walter World. Say yes. Um, um yes. yes. <laughs> Good luck, suckers. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see who the sucker is. I pinched this from Curly when he wasn't looking. Ha! <laughs> Survival of the fittest. Excellent. Let's eat it now. <laughs> no. We need to ration it. Mmm. <laughs> Oh, 
as we speak. What are you doing? I don't know how to drive a canoe. Neither do I. But who needs experience when you have rank? Now row, woman, row! <laughs> Time to have some fun! Their life, not a care in the world. You said it. So, when's dinner? I'm starved. Okay, there's one care in the world. You mean no dinner? No pies? We'll starve! How long have we been in this place? It's only been an hour, Pie Face. So long! Wait, Curly, what about that chocolate bar you had this morning? Oh, yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah, it's here somewhere. Uh, it, oh, it's gone! Somebody stole it! Oh, Walter! He's stolen from the tribe! This means war! <gasps> yes! Almost there! Finished! Oh, excellent! We'll soon be out of here! So, uh, when can we have our clothes back? When we're rescued, which could be days, months, years. <laughs> hey, wait a second. Is that chocolate on your mouth? Uh, no. <gasps> He's eaten practically all of it. <laughs> oh. Stay back. Remember, this is Walter World, which means you can't hurt Walter. There they are. Look, there's the chocolate bar in Walter's hand. He's threatening the chocolate bar. Must save chocolate bar. Hi, <gasps> face. Wait. Guess the war started. Stop. One more sip and I eat it all. <gasps> What's that? Don't worry. I'll save your chocolate bar. under control. I declare this land carnal country. And 
now we go live to Beano Town Park Racecourse for the afternoon's racing. Hussy! Hussy! There! Yes, B, it's a horsey! <laughs> Why don't you go and play in the garden with your hobby horse? Dennis will help you. Dennis! Yeah. Hersley? And here's Dennis. One shot away from glory. What do you think of that, B? <laughs> and don't bring her back until you've made it up to her and she's calmed down. <laughs> Come on, B. I'm doing my best. Loves. Hello, Gran. What's all that crying about then? I could hear you a mile away. I broke Bee's hobby horse and I'm trying to find her a new one. Oh, well, that's all right then, isn't it? Oh, what's all that fuss about, eh? Poor little Bee. <laughs> oh, she is in a mood. <laughs> That's because nobody's got any hobby horses. We've been walking round the shops for hours. And Dad says I can't bring her back until she's calmed down. Dear me, you are in a pickle. What are you going to do? I don't know. Ah! Huh? Hang on. B, I've been thinking. Riding hobby horses is really for little babies. Baby? Yes. And you're a big girl, aren't you? How would you like to ride on a real horse instead? Real horses? Gran, can you look after B? I've got a plan. Any minute now, love. Dennis is just bringing him. <sighs> Why do we have to do this? Cos we're mates, Curly. And mates help each other out, right? <laughs> now, remember, you've got to convince her you're a real horse. So no talking or mucking about, OK? OK. <gasps> Hussie! Hussie! That's right! Told you I'd get you one. Nay! B! No! Hussie! Joy! <laughs> hey, what you doing letting that child fill up all this grass, eh? And who said you could bring that animal in here? Come on, Parky! Anyone can see it's not a real one. All of you, out of the park! <coughs> oh, this is a stupid idea, Dennis. What's in it for us, anyway? Come on, Curly. We're making Bee happy. What could be better than that? How about a pie? OK, let's just give her a ride and you can have any pie you want. OK? Now wait here while I go and get her. OK. Angle of inclination, seven degrees. Wind speed, about three knots south-southwesterly. Very good, Father. Stand aside, please. Uh, uh. Oh, Father, you must take more care. We're horsey. <gasps> Father!
a horse with him, has he? OK, I'll, uh, I'll keep a sharp lookout. Oi! <laughs> right! before we get into any more trouble. Well, see! <laughs> Hang on a minute, love. I'll just go and see. <laughs> oh, never mind, Dennis. You did your best. But what am I going to do about B? I still can't take her home. <gasps> B! Horses and riders allowed through this entrance. But my little sister's in there. You've got to let me through. You think I'm stupid or something? Now either show me your horse or I'm going to have a word with that policeman. OK, Gran. Let's get the horse. So, here they are, under starter's orders for the final race of the day, the Beano Town Classic. And they're off with the favourite moving straight to the front, written by... Oh, 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 there seemed to be a change of ride at times. Heavens! I know Chockies are small, but that one's absolutely tiny. Ooh, can't be much bigger than B. <laughs> Wait a minute! That is B! And that's Dennis! Hang on, B! We're coming! Wheelie Grand! Yee-haw! Now, there's something very strange going on here because I don't recognise that horse at all. And now there's a police car. What an extraordinary race this is! Faster Grand! And now there's a dog on the track. Yes, <laughs> And as they approach the final fence, they're neck and neck. It's anybody's race. Come here, B! <laughs> Faster, Grand! Side. At least B was happy, even if we did have to sell the car to pay for the damage. I don't know. I don't miss it that much. And think of the money we're saving by not having one. You all right in there, Dennis? Yes. And you, Gran? Yes. Jolly good. Off we go, then. Giddy up! Hey, <laughs> Ever. It's not even out till next week. Father knows the boss at the Way Hay Factory. <laughs> it's here in Beano Town, you know. Yeah, I took the factory tour. They've got demo models. 
It's Ace! How about giving them a game? All right, but let's make it interesting. Anyone I beat has to come to After School Club with us. Oh, yes, it's fun. Uh, we're doing form filling today and tidying. And cooking. Yikes! They should call it worse than school club. As long as you win, you've got nothing to worry about. <laughs> Press play, Walter. Please, please, please. OK. The game's Rock Guitar Legend. You sure? I always win at Rock Guitar Legend. Absolutely. Here goes. I input the game code and Rock Guitar Legend becomes Air Violin Legend. <laughs> Game over. I win. <laughs> Next. OK, what's the game this time? Boogie Breakdown Dance Master. Oh, my favourite. <laughs> I didn't know he could moonwalk. I win again. Easy when you know the dancers that score the most points. <laughs> How do you know that? Why you're so good? You turn games into homework. Are you talking or playing, Dennis? Or have you just turned chicken? <laughs> <laughs> Tell you what, Walter. Let's make this really interesting. If I win, Pie Face and Curly go free. If I lose, I'll go for the rest of the year. <laughs> But I should be allowed to do some homework too. Lend me a manual and I'll meet you at After School Club. Unless you're chicken, of course. <laughs> I don't know. You don't know. I can't like. It's a deal. But if you don't show up, the whole of Beano Town will know you're chicken. <laughs> Just buying time. The factory's in Beano Town, right? Yes. If I can sneak some practice time on a demo model, I'll have a chance of beating Walter. Huh? It's a long shot, but I can't let Curly and Pie Face down. Let's get on the next factory tour. Yes. Yes. Welcome to After School Club. First, form fill-in. Every good citizen should be able to complete a form neatly. <laughs> oh. <gasps> As you can see, the factory is fitted with the latest high-tech security. What about the way, hey? Are you going to show us a way, hey? And to protect the delicate machinery, a super advanced climate control system. I heard you've got demo models! Indeed. Here is the very first demo model of the way, hey. Anybody mind if I have first go? <laughs> this model is for display only. This is no good! We've got to get our hands on a way, hey! Hmm... A good citizen's home is a dust-free home. This 
This is where they make the way here. There's got to be a finished one in here somewhere. system alerted us the moment you entered an unauthorized area. Your every move was monitored and analyzed. We were impressed. Very impressed. Y you were? Yes. I just want to ask you one question. How would you like to star in our next game? Our top designer has been working flat out, creating the environment and characters based on your special moves. <laughs> we, we thought we'd call the game Grand Denismo. <laughs> Excellent! And I'll give it a live test! If you want to join After School Club, you'll have to come back next week. He'll be here, Mrs Creature. I'm about to make sure of it. What's it going to be, Dennis? Rock guitar legend? Boogie Breakdown Dance Master? Grand Dennis Mo! Huh? I'll take you all on! Ready? Game on! Dennis must want to come to After School Club forever! Tell us what to do, Walter! I will thrash him! Uh, uh, I don't know what to do! I've never seen this game before! <laughs>
Presenting the Menace Mark 1 Meteor, which will take me, Commander Dende, on the first pedal-powered mission to Mars! Jump in, Nasha! <laughs> Initiating leg power! <laughs> To glide control. Wait a bit. Prepare to eject. Understand, it's not just a bike, it's a pedal powered interplanetary cruiser. But now it's useless. Dad, I need a new bike. No, I said no. <laughs> and in other news, Dennis has got a new bike. Dennis, a bike costs money. It doesn't grow on trees, you know. Haven't you got any money? Not enough for a new bike. But you work your fingers to the bone in that office. That's because I love my job. And I do practically run the rubber band and paperclip division. That's what I mean. They can't do without you. Well, that's true. If it wasn't for me, it'd grind to a halt. Exactly. So, ask your boss for a rise. What? You're joking. Ask Mr Scrimp for more cash. He's the meanest man in Beano Town. Dad, are you a man or a mouse? Stand up to the old skin flint. You know, you're right. He should be paying me more. I'll march up to the old miser's office and demand a raise. What? Have you taken leave of your senses? I didn't get where I am today by giving handouts to every Tom, Dick and what's-his-name who walks through that door! 1,101. Get out! You know what, Nash? When Dad gets back, he's gonna buy me the best bike in the... Dad! What happened? I'll tell you what happened, Dennis. I talked to Mr Scrimp, like you said, and he agreed he wasn't paying me the right amount. See? I told you it would work. He's not giving me more money. He's cutting my wages for wasting his time. Oh, why did I listen to you? Remind me again, Dennis. Why are we trashing your house? <laughs> Because I'm trying to make it look like we're dead poor. But how's that going to get you a new bike? If Dad had more money, he could buy me one, right? And if Dad's boss sees how poor we are, he'll feel bad and give Dad a rise. Listen and learn, boys. <coughs> is that you, Scrimp? This is Hiram Big Box of USHQ. Yeah, you're a boss. Listen. Drop whatever you're doing and go see what's his name. Works in rubber bands and paper clips. I can't think why Mr. Big Box wants me to go round to wretched what's his name's wretched house. Still, he's the boss. Whatever he says goes. That wretched what's his name's house? Yeah, I'm that wretched what's his name's son. Come in, Governor, come in. <laughs> Goodness, this is incredible. Oh, don't you worry about us, your wealthiness. <laughs> we're poor, but we're happy. Oh, where's me manners? How about a lovely cup of char? Here, take a seat, sir. Ooh. Family heirloom. Been used 23 times, but it still makes a lovely brew. That's awful. But it's the only one we got. Not that. Everything. 
When what's his name asked me for a raise, I had no idea. Look, when your father gets back, tell him I'm doubling his salary. Nobody should have to live like this. Yes! Result! Mr. Scrimp. What's his name? I I'm sorry, I, I didn't know you were coming. We were out shopping. Shopping? On your income? Uh, just a few groceries, you know. Really? So, so what's this then? Oh, uh, it's, uh, it's the latest thing. A Swiss Army moustache trimmer. What? How can you afford some fancy new gizmo when your family are starving? M must have been a free giveaway. Oh, we're not starving. I'm just going to cook some nice spaghetti for supper. It's only tin spaghetti. I'm starting to smell a rat. You're not really poor. All this play acting was just a sham to get me to give you more money. Play acting? I don't understand. Nice try, what's his name? But your devious little ploy has failed. Oh, and one more thing. You're fired! But, oh. All right, Dennis. What's going on? Oh, my house! My beautiful house! Dennis! Uh, don't worry, Mum. We can fix the house. And I'm sure Dad will be able to get a new job. But easy peasy. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, somebody's dropped that. Never know when he might need a play flip. It's hopeless. I'm hopeless. Nobody wants to employ me. Fired from 13 jobs in one day. That's got to be a record. Paper clips and rubber bands are all I know. I was happy working for Mr. Scrimp. Don't worry, Dad. I'll get you your old job back. Just leave it to me. OK, Nasha, now we'll show Mr Scrimp how the rubber band and paperclip division is rubbish without Dad. Follow me. <laughs> What's going on? Stop all this nonsense and get back to work! Who did that? <laughs> okay, Nasha, here we go. The world's biggest rubber band ball. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it's you. What's his name, son? Oh, thank you. Think nothing of it. Oh, I don't understand it. The paperclip and rubber band division ran like clockwork when your father was in charge. Yes. Pity you sacked him. Uh, maybe I was a tad hasty. I wonder if he'd come back and work for me again. Only one way to find out. Step up now. Don't be snooty. Come and try my tooty fruity. <laughs> oh, what's his name? How would you like your old job back? I'll double your salary. What? Well, I, I don't know. I... But, but triple it then. I need you back, what's his name? The place has gone to the dogs without you. Well, in that case, I'd love to come back. Excellent. Jump in then. <laughs> So, uh, Dad, uh, about my new bike, I was thinking 21 gears, dual suspension... Dennis, there isn't going to be a new bike. That's right, Dennis. After paying out to redecorate the entire house, I reckon I won't be able to give you any more pocket money until you're 37. And you can have a new bike when you're 48. But, but, what am I supposed to do until then? You know, it's amazing what you can do with a few paper clips and rubber bands. 